Hi everyone, I'm here today with another Simon Says Stamp Haul video. I placed my order on Wednesday afternoon, received notification it shipped on Thursday, and I got it today, which is Saturday. Uh, they are awesome, they ship fast, they have the best customer service ever, they are the nicest people, and I will never shop at any other online retailer except Simon Says Stamp. And actually, at some point, I've seen other stores carry brands of things that I like, and I would send them an email um, asking them if they were going to carry it, and they're very open to suggestions. So, so uh, keep that in mind. If you if there's something that you really like, and Simon Says Stamp doesn't carry it, you can just shoot them an email and see if they would have any interest in carrying it. Most of the time, they do. So let me just get started with the smaller things. I picked up Distress Stains are wonderful. I love them. I love anything Distress Ink related. So I picked up this Distress Stain and then Tumble Glass. This is my favorite blue color. And then I picked up some refills because I want refills for all of my ink pads. And I have quite a few ink pads, so I get refills, pretty much put a couple in with every order. So, you know, I'm not just getting a whole order full of refills until I complete my collection of the refills. So this is Tumble Glass, Wild Honey, and Barn Door. And I'm pretty sure I only need two more refills to go, and then I will have all of my refills for my Distress Inks. I picked up this. I've never tried their paint dabber before. This is from Ranger and it's in the color Pearl. I saw this on um, Jennifer McGuire's blog and um, I really liked it so I can't wait to give it a try. I'm going to use it just like I would use the Distress Stains or my Jenny Bolin paint dabbers but this one is Pearl so it's going to have that nice shimmery look so I can't wait to try that. And then I picked up Stickles and this is in pumice stone. Um, I love the pumice stone color distress ink and I love stickles. So I thought rubbing some this over some of my pieces might give that really nice silver look. So I had to pick up stickles. And stickles are so inexpensive. They're like $2.50. And they come in a bazillion different colors. Distress ink colors and then other colors. So I love stickles. I picked up this Hero Art Shadow Ink in soft brown. I saw this color... It might have been Mary Dawn's blog, My Pink Mexico, and I saw this color and I really like it. So I've got now I've got soft stand, now I've got soft brown, and the only other brown I want to add to my collection at some point is Cup of Joe. And then I'll have all the browns that I want. Um, I picked up this. This is pretty cool. This is, um, you know, those foam dimensions that you put on your pieces to pop them up? These are actually clear, so you won't see the white, you know, from looking at an angle. So this is Cool Tack Foam and Clear, and they come in 144 little squares. Um, so, of course, I'm only going to use these on special occasions because you can pretty much go through 144 pretty quick. But I thought this was very clever that somebody came up with some clear foam dots. So I got that. I saw this on my friend Shari's blog, so I had to pick this up. This is Perched Reed Bird, and it's by... Memory box, and I do love their die cuts. I have a lot of their die cuts. Their, my collection of their die cuts are adding really big, are getting really big. So here's the perch die. They're very high quality dies. They cut through pretty much anything, um, and I use the cuddle bug for my particular one. So they'll work in any die cutting to, uh, machines that you may have. Of course, I had to get some more gelatos. I got this neutral pack. I didn't have black. I do have a duplicate of silver. I'm pretty sure this is silver, so if this is indeed a duplicate, then this is going to go up on my blog giveaway when I do my uh, Gelato's Faber-Castell giveaways. I think I also have a black big brush pen to give away as well, so I picked these up because I have to have neutral colors. Um, for a stamp set, it is hard to find a good sentiment stamp set that has a lot of sentiments. I don't want to have like 55 different sentiment stamp sets. I, I just want to get a few good stamp sets that have uh, various greetings and this one is fantastic and I also wanted something big. I have a lot of the smaller sentiment sets from Hero Arts so I wanted some big sentiments. So this you can intertwine with your older with your other sets um, and I just love the font. I love the size and this is called something Truly Appreciated, CL380, Truly Appreciated is what this is called. So I'm very excited about these bigger sentiments. And I picked up, I finally jumped on the bandwagon of the Hero Arts paper. So I picked up quite a few different colors. They're the color on the front and then they're the white on the inside. 
These are also good to go with the shadow inks and also it's good for if you're doing any embossing and you want to sand down and have that white pop through you can use these papers for that. Another method is using white cardstock and distressing your your white cardstock with whatever color you want, embossing it, and then sanding it down and you'll get the white back. But these are, are ready to go for you. So I've got these laying, layering papers. This is in pool. This is blush. And these are mixed layering packs, so they have different colors in them. Um, here, I'll open this one. They have some that are just single colors but of course I like to have a variety and for a dollar more I'm getting different colors so and you'll see how they're they're white on the back so that's the pool and we've got that color so you get three different colors in one pack um, I picked up earth so it's gonna have these three colors in it this is sky and then this beautiful beautiful purple but this isn't called purple. What's this called? This is called floral. Let me make sure that's called sky. C. This is called C. I'm sorry. C. Floral. Earth. Pool. And blush. So, pick those up. And then I just wanted to show you all of my Lawn Fawn goodies. I'm sure you guys have already gotten your stuff and if they're sold out never fear they've probably already placed their next order but um, I'll start with the mini sets right here this is called stay tuned from this is all on fun now this is called flying by I love those paper airplanes and this is handmade with love this is a nice stamp you can put on the back of your card so people will know that you actually handmade them and these aren't things you can just you know buy at the store Hallmark and now we'll get into the 4 by 6 ones. Here's Critters Ever After. I love this because this, I'm a huge Harry Potter fan. And this reminds me of Buckbeat in Harry Potter. Stop laughing at me. So that's that. This is their Grand, Senti Grand Greetings. This is their big sentiment set. So they've got, um, again, these are good, nice size sentiments if you want to make them like a focal point of your card. Um, these are great, and then she threw in some little trimmings you can put along with them. Then the addition to their alphabet is Claire's ABCs. I've already used this baby, but this is the gnome set. I love the gnome. I love the mushroom house. This looks almost 3D because I put it in backwards, but there we go. That's better. I love the mushroom house. This just reminds me of the Smurfs. And this reminds me from Nomeo and Juliet, the cartoon. You can tell I watch a lot of <laughs> shows with my kid. But um, this set's super cute. This is, um, I use this card for my upcoming lawnscaping post, which will go live on Monday. The Chevron backdrops. This, this is outstanding. I've actually used all three already. Um, I've used one of these images for my lawnscaping post, and then I used uh, the background for that uh, pinwheel card I made. You might have already seen Fantastic. There are three different backgrounds so you can build with them. You can combine them all. Sky's the limit with these things. And then this is You've Got Mail. Love that movie, by the way. And this is fantastic. And then last, I've got the Flutter By. I think this rose is beautiful, and I like this butterfly a lot. And then leaves. I don't have any leaf images, leaf at all. I have a bunch of flower stamps, but no leaf images. So these are going to really work well with some other stamps that I have. So I'm pretty excited about that. And then two more things and I'm done, I promise. Um, here's their little petite paper pack by Lawn Fawn. I can't remember if I've showed this already. But anyway, they've got it's all single-sided papers. Look, they've got that pretty popular chevron. And these are all hand-drawn papers. So that's what is really super cool about them. I can't imagine. I can't draw it all anyway, but certainly can't draw this. And then I also have got the collection kit. And the collection kit... You get all the papers 12 by 12. You get this specialty craft paper here. And then you get these stickers. These are hand-drawn stickers, which I'm really excited about. And then you get these little journaling cards. And this is in the collection kit. So that's it. That's my haul, I think. Let me just, you know, you never know with me. Yep, that looks like it. So that's my latest haul video. So thank you guys if you've hung in there and with me. Thank you guys so much for watching uh, this video, and I'll catch you guys later. Bye.